Greetings, youth hockey parents and players. Look, I know I'm known for poking fun at crazy hockey parents, but today I did want to share with you an opportunity for your youth hockey player. So I have a couple questions for you. How many Division I hockey coaches do you know? Do you know what the difference between Junior A and Junior B is? How many junior team coaches and scouts do you know? Where do scouts look? What are they looking for? You might be shocked to find that the world of hockey, especially in the United States where I live, is surprisingly small. Certain hockey powerhouses like Minnesota, Michigan, Chicago area, Massachusetts, New York, California, and even Texas have some great exposure to scouts while some unconventional hockey markets can be a little bit more challenging to get noticed. The great thing is that over the years, exposure to this great sport has been growing and is more accessible now than ever before. But getting your youth player's name out there will always be a challenge. Unfortunately, getting exposure does take a little bit of hard work on your end. Let me be clear, natural talent and hard work will always be the key to continued opportunity and growth in the sport of hockey. But creating opportunities for that talent and hard work to get noticed does take effort, focus, and a little bit of luck. If you've looked online, you've noticed that there's a few pay for repository sites for youth player profiles. Now, I don't really have a reference on how effective or useful those are and haven't seen any metrics in that regard, but I do like the idea of a place for youth players to get noticed, if for nothing else, just for participating in a broader community. You really lucked out and made a great decision. The hockey community is the most supportive and accessible in the world of sports. It's not at all uncommon to run into a professional hockey player at an ice rink and have them help you carry boxes from your car to the rink or even help tie your kids' skates. Likewise, regardless of whether it's a professional or top tier youth family or just starting out, Hockey people help each other out and are always the first to donate time, money, or a helping hand to anyone in need. If you ever have questions or need help, please feel free to list that in the comment sections of any of my hockey videos. And I guarantee that if I don't respond quickly enough, there will definitely be a hockey friend that will. So I've decided to showcase for free a youth player each week in my new Youth Hockey Prospects playlist here on YouTube. I'm debating using my son Ben as a guinea pig for the first video for an example next week, but you will see the first prospect video posted next Friday, so be sure and check that out. Another thing I think is gonna be really cool is that in future videos on this channel, I'll be interviewing some of my friends and acquaintances in the hockey world, including scouts and coaches from competitive youth, junior, and professional teams to give you all perspectives that I was clueless about with my now 18-year-old when we were just starting out. Okay, so in order to include your son or daughter in our youth hockey player prospects videos, follow the instructions in the video description below this video. You'll need to be a subscriber to this channel, of course, and your youth player should be 16 years of age or younger. I'll need a few pictures and videos if you have them to include, as well as some profile information including team teams, notable tournament appearances, etc. I'm so excited to see some new hockey prospects out there. Thanks so much for taking the time to participate in this opportunity. Please hit that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well for daily content. Thanks again, hockey friends.